The next application is a game, and I'm a sucker for games. I love games, especially those with an arcade feel to them. Um, like my colleague. Like my colleague John said earlier, games are great also because they have a lot of pr interesting problems that you can solve. So state, asynchronicity, keeping things all tied together. Um, our next demo really hits on all the things I really enjoy in a game. Accelerando is a web arcade game that takes a classic idea, which is avoiding asteroids, and gives it a big twist. So in this game, both the content and the music are algorithmically generated. So he's the vet developer to tell you how it was done. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily Gordon, and I present to you Achelorando, a web arcade game with algorithmically generated music that accompanies the player through a procedurally generated asteroid field. It has an online real-time multiplayer mode, uh, currently in private playtesting, using the power of Socket.io, and let's take a look at the single-player experience. The player starts at the edge of the asteroid field, uh, giving them time to acclimate to the controls, not have to start dodging immediately, and at first the asteroids come in slow and sparse, and you can see the beats per minute counter in the corner speeding up, and uh, the player's score increases faster as the music speeds up, and the asteroids are generated randomly so the player can't memorize a safe path. At 115 beats per minute, a new instrument comes in, and once it gets to 130, the hi-hat comes in and things get really hectic. And the player probably can't survive much longer unless they're really skilled, and oh, they, they crashed. Game over. But their valiant flight will not be lost to history because their score will be stored in a persistent responsive database. And that database is Firebase. Firebase is a real-time NoSQL database powered by Google servers, so you know it's good. And, well, this awkward silence is the sound of outer space, by the way. <laughs> um, so uh, the algorithmic music I wrote with the help of Tone.js, a, a JavaScript audio framework that wraps over the verbose lower-level web audio API and provides all the functionality I'm used to from traditional digital audio workstation software. The gameplay logic I wrote with the help of Phaser, a JavaScript game framework that solves many of the lower-level problems of video game development. It solves the age-old problem of collision checking, provides methods for handling user uh, keyboard and mouse input, makes it easy to render images onto the HTML5 canvas and couple them to the game objects that they represent. So it, it really allowed me to just jump right over those obstacles and get right into programming the fun stuff, the gameplay. And I was able to have a functioning pre-alpha demo within mere hours. That was awesome. And uh, integrating Phaser with the rest of my code was a bit of a challenge. Uh, Phaser 3 actually comes out today, but I was working with the mature Phaser version 2, which isn't very modular. I, I had to uh, research the Phaser community for solutions, but with their help, I was able to split my Phaser code into small readable files, which I could bundle together with Webpack, and they could communicate with my, my tone code for the, the music, it could communicate with Firebase, and uh, it all came together. And you can play my game at a shellrondo.space. All right, to vote for Accelerando, like the post, like the pinned comment, and yeah, that was very well done. I, I, I love procedurally generated anything. And I think it's, um, <laughs> I mean, good. Um, good to know. because I, I, I'm like, I always tell myself, like, I, I feel like I can, I can, I can, um, every playthrough is unique. yeah, every playthrough is unique. And I think also with music, it's like, you can kind of sense the patterns in a very unique way. So I'm, I'm excited to try it. And I, I also love anything on the dot space domain TLD. So two things for me working. Yeah. And I like asteroids. And so that's three. <laughs> and so it, Oh, it's well done. And, um, you know, we, we should really have a, um, I feel like we should have a graduating game arcade or something. Um, You're in charge of the budget, so yeah. I'm 100% behind that if it's in the books. <laughs> uh, yeah.